Money as a medium of exchange has played a crucial role in human civilization. From bartering animals and food to the introduction of the first currency, the Mesopotamian shekel. 5,000 years ago, money has become intertwined with various perspectives. Some view money as an evil force, while others believe it facilitates trade and improves livelihoods. While opinions may differ on the nature of money and the best practices for earning, saving, and spending it, numerous knowledgeable individuals have shared their perspectives over time. So today, I'll take it to the Japanese secret to saving more money. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our video updates. Plus, it helps us spread the Thrive Wise love to help more people thrive wisely. Now, let's begin. To comprehend the disparities between Japanese and Western views on money, we must first consider Japan's historical background as a predominantly agrarian society. Agrarian societies which revolve around crop production and farmland maintenance have existed for thousands of years. In Japan, a caste system once prevailed, and during peacetime, the merchant class experienced a surge in commerce and economic growth. However, despite their financial success, merchants were not highly regarded in Japanese society. This lack of recognition created a stigma around money and prosperity, which still persists today. As a result, wealth and influence are valued over ostentatious displays of money. In contrast to the West, wealthy individuals in Japan often go unnoticed, as they do not flaunt their riches, emphasizing power and influence instead. In Western societies, money and influence are often seen as symbols of prestige. People frequently strive to project a certain image by living above their means, leading to a culture of excessive spending. The United States, in particular, has a substantial household debt of 15.6 trillion US dollars, compared to Japan's 6.82 trillion US dollars. Taking into account their respective populations, living paycheck to paycheck has become a common phenomenon, with many individuals unable to save money and burdened by debt. This stark contrast in spending habits between Japan and the West reflects differing cultural attitudes towards money and the pursuit of wealth. In Japan, the collectivist focus on fitting in with the population and avoiding ostentatious displays of wealth shapes the culture's perspective on money. Even multimillionaires can live in modest houses that blend in with their neighbors' residences, resulting in a lack of societal pressure to showcase riches. This emphasis on conformity and humility leads to a society where power and influence hold greater significance than material possessions. Consequently, the Japanese elite often prioritize financial stability over extravagant spending, allowing their wealth to grow and live off the interest earned on their assets. Despite their aversion to extravagant lifestyles, affluent Japanese individuals tend to prioritize purchasing domestically rather than overseas for various goods and services, such as vacations, fine art, and wine. This preference contributes to the Japanese economy by keeping the money within the country and circulating it effectively. Furthermore, there are notable differences in Japanese personal finance and spending habits. One significant distinction is the emphasis on teaching personal finance to children from an early age. Japanese parents instill in their children the value of saving money and the benefits of delaying gratification when it comes to making purchases. Children are educated about the importance of saving and the consequences of not doing so, as well as the risk associated with borrowing money from others, including banks. As a result, Japanese youngsters develop a habit of saving money from a young age. Another noticeable difference lies in the prevalence of cash transactions in Japan. According to Statistica, in 2022, 40.4% of all consumer purchases in Japan were made with cash, compared to 34% in the United States. Paying with cash offers psychological advantages. When using a credit card, the full impact of the purchase is not immediately apparent in one's account. In contrast, with cash, individuals can see and physically feel the value of what they are buying. This tangible aspect prompts more careful consideration of purchases, resulting in reduced willingness to spend money and an increased inclination to save. This psychological phenomenon 
helps explain why Japanese people demonstrate greater proficiency in managing their finances. It is important to note that these observations do not imply that one approach is superior to the other or that one culture is more astute than the other. The variations in personal finance practices stem from cultural and historical factors. Both the Japanese and American approaches have their respective advantages and disadvantages. However, in the current era marked by the rising cost of living in the United States and the looming threat of debt, adopting certain elements of Japanese financial culture could prove beneficial. Taking inspiration from the Japanese practice of kakebo, an ancient and effective manual way of saving money, individuals could develop better financial habits and increase their savings. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really helps us spread the Thrive Wise love so we can help more people thrive wisely. And going back, Kakebo, the Japanese art of budgeting, extends beyond mere money-saving techniques. It delves into self-discovery and simplifying one's life. It operates on a three-principle accounting system. Kakeshise, which involves tracking income and expenses. Keshikiseiri, which entails organizing monthly expenses into key categories, and Keka Kaiketsu, which involves setting suitable budgets for each category. The practice of manually tracking finances serves a purpose. While automatic budgeting tools may be convenient, research published in Psychological Science suggests that students who take handwritten notes in class perform better in comprehending and answering complex conceptual questions compared to those who rely on laptops. Similarly, recording financial goals by hand allows for a deeper processing of the information. By taking a few minutes each month to think about and write down saving objectives, individuals create accessible records that can serve as a constant reminder and motivation to achieve those goals. So, how can one incorporate Kakebo into their life? Well, Kakebo is based on the simple concept of journaling and documenting similar to how keeping a food journal creates awareness of eating patterns. Kakebo brings attentive awareness to the budgeting process. It involves using pen and paper to become conscious of one's financial situation. By diligently recording expenditures over a specific period of time, Kakebo integrates into daily habits, much like journaling. Financial experts often recommend tracking spending and income for at least a month before creating a budget. The practice centers around meticulous record-keeping of income and expenses. Once expenditures have been tracked for a month, Kakebo encourages dividing them into categories, giving rise to the four-category spending habit system. This basic ledger allows individuals to organize their finances by categorizing purchases into four categories. Necessities, which are essential items like food and toiletries, wants, non-essential items, one desires, culture, expenses related to books, museum visits, vacations, and unexpected or unforeseen expenses like medical visits or car repairs. This categorization helps individuals become more aware of their spending patterns and avoid wasting money on items that do not contribute to their objectives. The benefits of using Kakebo extend beyond traditional budgeting methods. Its focus on mindfulness makes it a suitable approach for individuals seeking to ensure their money is allocated to things that bring them genuine happiness. By encouraging achievable monthly saving goals and emphasizing the importance of saving small amounts regularly rather than sporadically, Kakebo celebrates even the smallest victories along the way. However, it is essential to remember that indulging in non-essential purchases is still possible as long as one practices mindfulness and avoids impulsive spending. Kakebo is a valuable tool for various individuals, but specifically, one, first-time savers. Kakebo provides an excellent starting point for individuals who are new to the concept of saving money. The approach encourages individuals to set achievable monthly saving goals and celebrates even the smallest milestones. By breaking down the saving process into manageable steps, Kakebo instills the habit of consistent saving. This gradual progress not only enhances financial well-being, but also boosts motivation and confidence in one's ability to save and work towards future financial goals. 2. Households with Children Kakebo serves as an invaluable resource for educating children 
about the intricacies of household expenses. By involving children in the Kakebo process, parents can instill financial literacy from an early age. Children learn firsthand about the importance of budgeting, tracking expenses, and making mindful spending decisions. This early exposure to financial management equips them with essential life skills that will benefit them throughout their lives. 3. Fearful and Reluctant Budgeters Kakebo offers a refreshing perspective for individuals who feel overwhelmed or anxious about budgeting. It dispels the belief that someone is inherently quote-unquote terrible with money by providing a practical and straightforward framework. By adopting Kakebo, individuals gain a sense of command over their finances. The act of actively tracking and categorizing expenses empowers them and helps them build confidence in their ability to manage their money effectively. 4. Envelope Budgeters Kakebo's approach aligns well with the popular envelope budgeting system. Envelope budgeting involves setting aside predetermined amounts of money for various expense categories. Kakebo's four-category system, necessities, wants, culture, and unexpected, complements the envelope method, allowing individuals to allocate funds accordingly. If individuals find envelope style planning effective, Kakebo offers a compatible and structured framework for organizing and managing their finances. And lastly, 5. Inconsistent Budgeters For individuals who struggle to stick to a budget or find it challenging to maintain financial discipline, Kakebo offers a solution. With its simplicity and flexibility, Kakebo provides a fresh perspective on budgeting. By emphasizing mindful spending and encouraging regular tracking of expenses, it helps individuals develop a more disciplined approach to managing their finances. Kakebo's holistic framework cultivates awareness and prompts individuals to reconsider their spending habits, leading to more intentional and responsible financial choices. In a world where sound financial habits are crucial for achieving stability and success, Kakebo offers a system that guides individuals towards positive outcomes. By adopting this mindful and holistic approach to personal finance, individuals can attain a deeper understanding of their financial situation develop effective spending patterns, and make wiser decisions that align with their long-term goals. Well, that's basically the Japanese secret to saving more money. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And hey, it seems that YouTube thinks that the next video can completely transform your financial situation. Watch it to find out whether they're correct. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos on how to thrive wisely. Till next time.